It's now time to participate in the annual pilgrimage to the number one festival in Europe, Exit Festival. The festival is located about 80 kilometres north of Belgrade, in Serbia's second largest city, Novi Sad. Getting there from Belgrade is easy. Public transport is available. Driving by car will get you there in about one hour. Thank you. It's time now to tackle the party full force. Festival sites don't get more impressive than this. There is over 100 hectares to dance and play within the fortress walls, with 600 national and international artists playing across 20 stages linked by cobblestone streets and archways. With thousands of the friendliest happy music lovers from many different countries and cultures magnetically joined to party and play together for four days straight. Novi Sad is a university city with a population of about 300,000 people. But when the festival arrives, it brings another 150,000 people to this city. Festival lovers from all over the world. How would you describe the crowd that's here? Uh, amazing. Nice people. And, uh, and, and especially the, the crowd mix. I think that's the most unique place because, uh, you know, we have 50% people coming from the west and we have 50% people coming from the east. And you don't have that kind of mix uh, anywhere else. So I think everybody appreciates that, the bands appreciate that, people appreciate that. You know, there's a other kind of energy. So, look, you've played at festivals all over the world. How do you rate Exit Festival so far? Um, well, we still have to play, but I think it's a very unique festival. And uh, last night we got so excited because we had a night off and we came here just to watch some bands and hang out. Uh, and it was so crazy, I immediately fell, fell in love with it, you know, it's, 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 it's not one of those generic festivals, it's within a fortress uh, here in Serbia, it's boiling hot and there's 16 stages and the lineup's that long and uh, it's just, I think it's a very special place here. From what I've seen in the area and what I walked around, it looks amazing, but I really want to be with the crowd, not behind the stage, I want to go walk around and talk to people and experience it you know um, I have heard from other people like Josh Wink I was playing with him last week in Toronto and he was like you're gonna love it when the sun comes up it's magical it's amazing there are stages here to suit all musical appetites but pulling the larger crowds of course is main stage showing off a four-day array of some of the hottest acts on the live music orbit Behind all of the main stage madness, hidden away in a secluded corner at the back of the festival is the monumental Dance Arena, causing the festival's biggest commotion without a doubt. Up to 30,000 relentless party people stacked up in a stadium, driven by a selection of festival favourite bands and DJs busting out electronic infused beats till sunrise. Over the four days of sweating it out, you'll need to find some accommodation close by. Hotel Leopold is situated smack bang in the middle of the festival, so if you've got access to the big bucks, then go for this. Otherwise, we recommend Hotel Mediterraneo. All rooms come with free Wi-Fi, and it's only 15 minutes walk to the festival, or one and a half euros by taxi. Another form of accommodation at Exit, and probably the most popular with foreigners, is Exit Village. About 10,000 people from all over the world have come here to pitch tents and make this their home for nine days. The Exit Village campus have their own food shops and bars and 24-hour parties on the beach. The festival kicks off at 5pm and goes right through to 7am each day. And in addition to having some of the best music acts on the party planet, there's lots to do. There's even a zip line to play on. <laughs> Yeah. 
ready? Okay, I think you're gonna have to push me, I can't do it myself. No. And between the stages and dancing, you'll find bars and places to intermix and chill. Food land with everything from Chinese to crepes, and there's even a spot of shopping. Exit Festival was originally created to celebrate freedom in relation to the exit of the Milosevic regime. You know, there is a whole mission of changes embodied in this, of how we started, you know, as a campaign for the change, campaign for the to getting rid of dictatorship and you know we are every year pushing the limits of what is acceptable in our societies. Sum up Exit Festival, how's your experience been over the last four days? It's a party music festival in a beautiful setting of a fortress. It's like it's surreal. Well it's pretty amazing yeah well actually the last day was just mind blowing. A lot of partying, a lot of good music, a lot of fun, and people should definitely check it out. What would you say to anybody that's thinking about traveling to Serbia for the Exit Festival? Do it, because it is as cheap as an English festival, and it people are more friendly, and it's just a better experience. I wouldn't go back to an English festival, come to Serbia. For more information on tickets, accommodation, and transport to the festival, visit the festival's website. Woo!